You have brought us up into these heavenly places now to bless you face to face. Father, we just thank you God, that we can join in with the angels and just begin to worship and bless you. The great things that you're doing, your word says to recall, rehearse the great deeds. And Lord, we see great deeds. You're tearing down strongholds with that noise of your tabernacle, but building up Zion and returning to that place, as you say. We just bless your holy name.
when we consider the moon and the stars, what is man that you are mindful of him? Even when we consider that, your throne room, God. And we have descriptions in Ezekiel for your prophets, Ezekiel and Isaiah, in the book of Revelation. Descriptions of the worship, of the sounds, of things that are happening around the throne of the nations. Lord, you've given us a playbook. You've given us demonstrations in written word. And then in our spirit, we begin to worship you in spirit and the truth of your word. Father, I ask that your spirit fall into this region for all of us because there's so much governmentally for us to rise up to. But we have to first know to bless you as kings and priests unto you, priests unto you, ministering to you in your manner. Lord, teach us what that is. Show us. Let us release the sounds that David heard. Let us release the sounds that Ezekiel heard. Let us give you praise and honor. Because in your throne room is your culture. Father, forgive us for implying our culture is the culture of the throne room. Forgive us. Well, Lord, you're coming this day that you even said that you would bring us out. Bring those out that search and that those that would worship you in spirit and truth. And Father, we're finding that worship is so much more. So much more, God. So much more than singing songs. It's releasing all that we are and being exactly what you made us to be. Kings and priests unto you. Ruling and reigning with you. Oh God. That was we lift you up, you draw all men. We lift you up because we're in you and you draw all men. Oh, thank you. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Praise Him in the assembly of His saints. Let Israel rejoice in Him, their Maker. Let Zion's children, and we have come to Mount Zion, the heavenly Jerusalem, in the company of innumerable angels. Let Zion's children triumph and be joyful in their King. Let them praise his name in chorus and choir. And with the single or group dance. Let them sing praises to him with the tambourine and the lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the humble with salvation. And adorn the wretched with victory. Let the saints be joyful in the glory and beauty which God confers upon them. Let them sing for joy. Ah! Oh, blessed are they who know the joyful song. Let them sing for joy upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their throats and a two-edged sword in their hands. To wreck vengeance. To wreck vengeance. 
upon the nations and chastisement upon the people to bind their kings and we bind those kings that have acted and ruled illegitimate authorities over us in this land and in our worship we say that we decree it in the midst of the high praises going on here we bind them and expose them in the light that now that's happening your light to bind their kings with chains and their nobles all their <laughs> minions with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written it is already written we just thank you as we bless you this judgment on them is already written he the Lord is the honor of all his saints praise the Lord and Lord I love a translation that says and this honor has the saints we have this honor so as we bless you and give you everything all praise and honor and glory and worship and join the angels <laughs> we see we see this coming to pass as you restore and rebuild your tabernacle your temple
because of the believer in this honor have my saints as the Lord. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. is the honor and power and glory. We bless our families. We bless our spouses. We bless our brethren. We give each other in check. We help each other and we build each other up. We sanctify each other. We sanctify your name. Kondari hayabaya there is power in the name of Jesus. And that is why we freely come before your throne to give you all honor and power and glory. And thanksgiving this honor of your saints in the name of Jesus. God be in our throats. And the two edged sword in our hands. To wreak vengeance upon the nations and chastisement upon the people. To bind the kings in, with chains and the nobles with fetters of iron. That word sound, that noise, is also has the word intercession attached to it. That as we worship, we're tearing down these things, exposing the light of this darkness, of this deep state that's been going on, controlling us. So as we bless Him, as we praise Him, we wreak vengeance upon those wickedness.
Yes, Lord, let the light arise, shine, for that light is coming. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And Lord, as we bless you with all glory and honor, ascribing to you all glory and honor, we see that light traveling throughout the earth and pinpointing those specific areas, even the trafficking, breaking down those strongholds. And Lord, the religious spirits that hold us bondage from seeing the light. Lord, even you address that. Lord, pull back the shackles. We pull back the shackles on our eyes to see into the heaven realm right now.
of the peoples of the nations God and you will see that they don't know where their right hand or left hand they cannot differentiate bad from evil they cannot Lord they're lost in their sins in their lost in their ignorance God they have not heard about your fame yet of your name that is above all names that there is a remnant it's of survivors of people that have been through the flowing rushing waters God and fire and tested and we've seen your grace and we've seen your miracles and we've seen your faithfulness your power to forgive your love your mercies your redemption your grace we've seen your works and you say i have hidden you i have hidden you as my weapon as my secret weapon I've been processing you and making you just right for the job and assignment I have for you. I'm aiming my arrows to the nations of the earth. Their hearts are ready and the harvest is ready. And you will go where they have not heard about me. You will go to places. To give my glory, to show my glory, to give my love to those nations. 
prepare as a horse prepares for battle prepare be ready at time and out of time be ready but know that I am the one that gives the victory it is my spirit and through and by my spirit that you will conquer the nations of the earth. Ask. Keep asking and keep knocking at the door. And you will find. And you will receive the answers. Keep asking. Keep seeking. Keep knocking. Keep preparing. Keep believing. The doors are about to be opened before you. And I will send you. You'll be my mouth. You'll be my hands. You'll be my feet. Through you I will touch the nations of the earth. Fear not. Fear not that I am with you. And I will open the doors that no man can shut. life of the spirit and resurrection power goes before you koria haya vaya rende revehende reveshkeriandi ko vaya rende revehende reveshkeria haya vaya rende there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus and there is a message in your heart that you will release because you've been faithful in the little because you've been faithful in your Jerusalem I will give you nations I will multiply your strength and f- and wonders and signs and miracles will follow you keep asking keep pressing in keep believing i am open the eyes of my seers this is my will and my desire that you can walk in the spiritual realm in a way that will be even more real than what you see with your natural eyes i want you to see my face my strategies enter press in worship prayer my word my love the acts of kindness release my word release my word speak the truth ask for boldness walk in love walk in humility so the blinders will fall off and you will enter into deeper and higher realms of my spirit you will see my secrets and understand them and through you i will reveal myself to the nations of the earth This is yours. This is for you. This is for you. You are the clay and I am the potter. And I will finish the work I have started in you. Fear not but rejoice. This is your time. the 
touch my lips Cleanse my hands Lord, we want to be Purified and sanctified talking, the feeling that there's so much that happens. We need to hear some of the things that the Lord is showing to you, things that you were releasing, what, what you saw, what the light of his glory in you, because the greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. We need to hear from you what he's releasing, what he's showing. I saw lights going in, light, just glory going into that deep state and illuminating dark spaces. That the things that we discussed before about that which is being uncovered is beyond imagination right now. And it's going to get better. What does he show you specifically? Come up and share it with us, please. Be bold. If you're wondering if it's the Lord or not, here's how you can tell. I don't know if that's the Lord or that's me. If you can say if in both those places, whether you, what you've been shown and what is in you, Jesus is Lord and he reigns and he rules, it's probably of him. Just thought I'd let you know. I just got this scripture that he won't let me leave. Revelation 3.14. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write these things, saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of God. Listen who's speaking to us. I know thy works, thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. This is what got me, Brother Ken. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou may be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness does not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. I love this right here. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Listen to this. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in this throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. By gold, Buy of me gold tried in the fire. Have you ever sought the Lord and said, Lord, baptize me with your fire? And didn't relent and found yourself in the biggest fiery trial you've ever been in your life? If you hadn't, you keep going, you're going to go there. But I promise you this, the end result of that purifying Then you're rich. Then we're rich. Then we know him as he is. You know what I'm saying? We know him as he is. And he's knocking. Do you hear his voice? He's knocking. He just said, if any man hears my voice, I will come in and sup with him. I wish I had a sermon out of it. I don't. I'm just telling you, the Lord has had that. I've been all over that. 
try him. Gold bought in the fire. I don't want to be lukewarm, Sister Teresa. I want to be hot. Hot. Burn us, Lord. Burn us with your holy fire. Purify our hearts. Purify us. Oh, glory. And we'll sit down with him. Those that overcome will sit down with, not just go to heaven. And you know, I like the four and 20 elders. I read the chapter before and I was stuck on that one. I almost read that one. Imagine the beast crying, holy, 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 holy. Six wings, eyes all, I mean, this, this is an amazing scene in heaven. And what's the one thing we can give him that he doesn't have? Come on, man. I mean, I love the worship, and, I, and, and you know, I really do. I love it. I love the way y'all worship. But the one thing that we can give him are souls. That's the one thing. Here it is, my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. Now, I do have a word. Everybody in here is a soul winner. Start looking at the world that there's only two kinds of people. Those who are saved and those that are going to be saved. Amen. They're everywhere. We led one to the Lord a little while ago at the gas station. Surprised it didn't run us out of there. We stood there so long. But he's in the saving business. I'll just tell you, it's worked so much better when he's gotten our heart and burned it. And ran all that out. Amen. And purified it. And seen his glory. You ever seen his glory? Saw it one time. Scared me to death. Glad, he, glad he's in the resurrection business. <laughs> That's all I got, Brother Ken. I love y'all. God loves you. You know he loves you, right? Say he loves me. He loves, he loves me. me. Look at your neighbor and say, I love you. I love you. Get in the habit of saying that. You know what? You'll have a lot of sinners that want to talk to you. Love y'all. dry and thirsty land. I think we are a dry, I mean, when we are thirsty for righteousness, that means we are thirsty and we feel like a dry land. But some of us are going through some dry spells and the Lord says he wants to fill you up. And if we could just sing, fill my cup, Lord. I just keep on hearing that in my mind, even though he's doing, and he, it's like the waters. I saw waters, sweet waters boiling, but they turn bitter. There's some bitterness in that water. And the Lord wants to refresh that water and cleanse it and purify it. And we just ask the Lord to forgive. Forgive us. Create in us a clean heart. And he will show us the things that are standing between us and him. Sometimes the wilderness is not definitely a wilderness, but it's that fire that he's pulling out of us. And he's making us like him. But if we can sing that song, fill my cup, Lord, if you can just give me a chord and turn me back to the music thing. If you would. <laughs> you, I'll go wherever you want me to go. No, no. I'm hating on high maintenance, low. Low. Well, give me a note, though, that was sort of my read. Fill, fill my cup, Lord. I fill it up, Lord. Come and just quench this thirsting of my soul. Breath of heaven. Feed me till I want no more. That'll be never. Fill my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. Let me say it one more time. Fill my cup, Lord. I fill it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Breath of heaven, feed me till I want 
no more. Fill my cup, fill it up and make me whole. All right. I got so much to share, I can't even remember it all. Okay. When we first started out, when Ken first started, I saw the sound of our worship was like running through heaven like waves. But we were dancing on top of those waves, dancing and praising the Lord. And he was so pleased with that. And I'm telling you, all this week he's just been telling me, we don't know who we are. He said, I made you for greatness. That's what he's been telling me all week. And you do not realize the impact. And I saw here tonight as we were singing, in each and every one of us, the Lord was revealing to me, Jesus is that open door, but in him, he created us to also be that open door to release heaven on earth. And as we were all standing here, I saw each of us. We had our... our inner man right here just opened up the doors of heaven opened up and we were releasing this flow that river of life that fire of god that comes out of his belly out of his throne because the throne of god is in us and it says in daniel that he has streams of fire coming from his from the belly and then rivers of life and as they opened up tonight and fire and rivers were just flowing from us and that we have to understand we can impact nations around the world. We don't have, sometimes we think too small and just keep it right here in our families, in ourselves, in our region. He said, no, I want you, I've made you for greatness. I want you to impact the nations. As we were praying tonight, I saw this worship and our prayers touching every nation around the world. And then we were talking, and the, the, Holy, the Holy Spirit's telling me, pray that the, God's exposing the darkness right now. But the Holy Spirit said, I'm also exposing my light. Those hidden regions where those worshipers are staying hidden, I'm going to expose them here soon. It won't be long. And that the kingdom of God that are hidden in nations like China and Iran, the, the, the body of Christ that's there that has to stay hidden, he says, not only am I going to expose the darkness, but I'm going to expose that light. And it will not be long. And I will be exposing my kingdom completely around the world. I saw all that tonight. It was just so awesome. God is doing a mighty move. And he's like... Get on board with me because you don't understand how I made you for my greatness, my plan, my purpose, and the power of our voice through his voice, through his living word, can reach every nation around the world if we just understand who we are and what we can do in and through. He can use us to be that vessel and that voice. Because I also saw the voice tonight just reverberating. I saw the voice of God just swirling around the nations. And he's like, I'm touching them all. Don't think so small that I'm not working because my hand is mighty and great. And my voice is touching every nation around the world. And I am separating not only the sheep and the goats in the church, but I am separating the sheep and the goats of the nations. Because the nations are becoming the nations of the Lord and he's separating them right now. So I, I just saw all that tonight. Just swirling. Yes. For, it's been, how many years? Six years ago, I started praying for the baptism of the fire. And I prayed and I prayed for months and months and months. And probably about after a year, God actually baptized me in the fire. I'm at a prayer meeting and 
I am standing there and I hear the Lord breathe in the breath of my kingdom. So I start breathing it in and I start shaking and I'm thinking, Lord, I don't know what's going on here, but these people are going to think I'm crazy. Well, next thing I know, I am out and I am screaming, receive the fire, receive the fire, receive the fire. And everybody's just looking at me. And I mean, I had to be driven home. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know what I was doing. But there is a baptism of fire. And God wants us to have it. And I get a little crazy sometimes because he's like, you know what? You got to let everybody else have this fire. So he wants you to be baptized in the fire. Receive it. Yes.
Thank you.